We recommended to the district attorney a, mal a misdemeanor um, malfeasance and office charges against her. The director of the St. Landry Parish Animal Shelter could be facing those charges this after the shelter picked up two horses that escaped their owner's property but failed to notify the owner in a manner prescribed by law. As Kendria LaFleur reports, what happened after is raising questions for the sheriff. Animal control, according to our investigation, did not follow the parish ordinance in notification of the animal owner. Sheriff Bobby Guidro says by law, the animal shelter should have placed an ad in the newspaper and scanned for chips in the horses. Guidro says that didn't happen before the shelter transferred the horses to Texas. The device used to check the chips, the chip will tell us uh, who owns the horses and the address and contact information. Uh, well, animal control device, the, the, uh, the tool used to check the chip was inoperable, apparently. Uh, so we got the Branding Commission, Louisiana Branding Commission, to check the chips, and that's how we could verify who the horse, the horse had belonged to. Guidro says the owner was able to get the horses back. The St. Landry shelter told him he owed them $1,400 in cash. That, too, was not properly followed in the, in the protocol. Uh, another thing, too, we were concerned about was uh, the animal control director requested cash money be paid to her directly. And that's a no-no. We kept it an extra 30 days to try to find out who it belonged to. And when nobody claimed it, we got it to a rescue where it was safe. Parish President Bill Fatno says the shelter uses social media instead of the newspaper to let the public know about missing animals, including horses. You keep them 15 days so that the owner can potentially come and claim his horse. And we put it out on Facebook. He never showed up to claim it. We didn't know who he was. And when we did find out who he was, the horses were already at a shelter in Texas. Fontenot defended the shelter's acceptance of cash payments. We have had bad checks. We don't have, uh, we don't have credit card availability, but we are going to credit cards and we get bad checks. But we are going to receive checks from now on. That's one thing that we could improve on. That was just something she was trying to be safe on. He also defended the shelter's reputation. There's no wrongdoing. All that we do is in the in good faith and, and following the rules. And if we break any rule, it's certainly unintentional. In St. Landry Parish, Kendra Lafleur, KATC TV3.